Well, we're out here for another beautiful day at the 2019 Nats, and I've got John here with me. We're at the Soaring Nats. John, thank you so much for taking a couple minutes. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. So uh, a couple of days ago, it was really breezy, really windy, and I saw a few of you guys out here carrying around pretty big, large pieces of metal and sticking them in your airplanes. Tell us a little bit about what that was about. Well, that's called ballast. And when the wind kicks up, we ballast our airplanes, which means we make them heavier. What they do when they're heavier is they are not perturbed as much by the wind, so they're not bouncing around as much, which makes the airfoils get most efficiency out of the airfoil. The balancing act is, do you want to put too much weight in, you're going to sink out of the air a little bit easier, and you want to have it light enough to be able to fly and catch the thermals. But as the wind picked up, as it did the other day, we were getting 30 to 35 mile an hour gusts. People were ballasting up as much as they could possibly hold in their airplanes. So what goes into the thought process about how much to put in there? Is it just kind of a trial and error type of thing? It's practice. When you go out in the wind, you try a certain amount of ballast. And if it doesn't work, you add a little bit more. And if you add too much, you feel that in the airplane. And you want to get the balancing act. So most of us carry around cheat sheets, which shows the amount of ballast we need for different wind conditions. So for you, how much uh, ballast did you have to put into your aircraft? Well, I put about two pounds. On an aircraft that weighs? 75 ounces to begin with. So, I mean, you guys can see how much of a difference that can actually make for these guys. Well, if you have any other questions for us, please put them down in the comments down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. And until next time, John, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.